Hotep Shalom, Namaste, Kol Asher Hava. Today I want to talk to you about laziness and boredom. Today I want to talk to you about doing what you are supposed to do. Doing something other than being uh, lazy or procrastinating. Staying active. Today I was bored, you know, I didn't feel like doing much. And I asked myself, you know, is this laziness? Am I, be, am I being lazy? But I realized I detached. I have come so far from this reality. I am so distant from this reality. There's nothing I want to do. I don't, I don't care about nothing in this world, you know. I literally, literally don't care about nothing. So I'm asking myself, is this laziness? But no, it is detachment. When you come into a certain state of enlightenment, nothing in this world matters. You would care for nothing on this earth. Nothing matters. It's all an illusion. For an example, getting a new car, getting a new job, going to school, it's all the same thing you're going to do it for eternity. Okay, you paid your taxes, you paid your bills, now what? You go to heaven? For eternity and be happy because you paid your bills. God don't care about people who pay their bills. That's that's not what makes a person good. That's not what makes a person righteous. That's not what gets you your ticket into heaven. That's not what gives you good karma. This world is fake. It's all an illusion. Wherever you go, whatever you do, it's all an illusion. You're being deceived to put your time and energy into something vain. You are being deceived to put your energy into something fake and false. When you go out and get a job, who are you working for? You can't be working for the side of righteousness because you're putting your time and energy into something temporary. Money is the face of a slave master, especially American money. All that is, is a slave master's face on a piece of green paper. And you kill for it, you thrive for it, you live for it, you strive for it. Money has no true value. If the government said a stick in the hand is worth a, a, a Lamborghini, everybody be chopping down these trees just to get a Lamborghini. And then before you know it, people will be dying because there's no more oxygen left. There's no more photosynthesis, no trees converting carbon dioxide and oxygen. The, the, the whole cycle is broken because you have been fueled by your desires. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You must learn detachment. Every one of my videos is more important than the last. They're all equally important as well. Look at my videos one by one, step by step. Put the pieces together. I say many times, you cannot look at one of my videos and think you're going to understand the whole picture. What you understand is a piece of the puzzle. That's what you understand. You understand that little piece of the puzzle. Understand the bigger picture. You in this world, you must detach from all things ignorant. From all things false. And the prime example is money. If you need money, you don't need it. If money requires for you to buy it or have it, you don't need it. If it wasn't made with your hands, you don't need it. You can use it to your advantage, but have no desire for it. None. Absolutely none. Have no desire for anything in this world. Detach. 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 Brothers and sisters, hear me out clearly. When you come into a state of detachment, you will experience this, am I lazy or, or whatever. But I'm going to tell you how to combat that. Laziness is a form of not doing nothing at all. Laziness, like for an example, if I was laying down right now, not even making this video, but right now I'm being productive. I have detached from all reality, okay? I am up right now making this video when I, when I don't have to. I could lay down, go to sleep, and do whatever, and that's laziness, but I'm not lazy. I'm beyond that. I'm better than that. See, I'm beyond all of that.
What I'm doing now, I'm helping you to put you on that path. We need people like you. We need warriors. We need those people who's going to wake up and, and, and say, hey, man, it's time for the world to change. It's time for me to do my thing. You know, we those are the people we need. We don't need no more rappers. We don't need no more entertainers. We don't need no more dancers. What we need is people who's going to help cure diseases. People who's going to help stand up and fight oppression. What we need is people who's going to stand up and tell the government, no, I'm not your soldier. I'm not your toy. Those are the people that we need. We need people who's going to stand up for what is right. Period. We don't have that in this world. And that's why the world is the way it is. That's why things will never change. Because we have people in this world who just wants to get by. Detach from this reality. Nothing in this life matters. You go to school every day. Now what? Now what? You got a degree? What does that prove? You smart? A degree does not prove you smart. A degree only means you've been going out regurgitating the information that they gave you. A degree don't mean nothing. It's a piece of paper that proves you can repeat what they told you. A degree means nothing. A degree, a diploma... None of that means nothing. Because when you think about it, who came up with the degrees? Did someone have a degree? Did people have a degree to issue a degree and to determine what is worthy of a degree? Did they need a degree in that? No, they just came up with it and you bought it. You've been fooled. You was born a slave, you will die a slave. You was born deceived, you will die deceived. And because you love the lie, you will deserve everything you get. Because you love to bask in the lie, you will perish along with the lie. And those are not my words, that is the truth. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, gods and goddesses, today I want to tell you and talk to you about detachment. Detach from this reality. Nothing in this world matters. Stop giving your time and energy into things that are vain. Detach from this world. Don't be lazy. Always get up and be productive. But detach from this reality, detach from this world, detach from wanting wives, husbands, and children, detach from wanting a a big family, and detach from wanting cars, money, and houses. There's nothing wrong with wanting a little, uh, uh, you know, a family, etc. But in a world with so much evil, death, and darkness, and pain, and suffering, you want to bring a family into this world? You're not even doing anything to help to make the world better. Why would you want to bring a family into this world? You're going to bring suffering to them. Before we multiply, let's divide the wicked from the righteous. Because we cannot have prosperity in a world of demons. You cannot have prosperity in a world of demons. Even Yahushua says, do not give your pearls to pigs, lest they trample it. And you are giving your pearls to pigs in this world. You're giving your pearls to pigs as you bring children into this world. You making them susceptible to government mind control, MK Ultra, chemtrails, GMOs, uh, cancer, and, and all these lies about you can only go to heaven if you worship God. And no, nay. All these things are lies. They've deceived you. And they are deceiving your family and you let them get deceived. Instead of questioning your reality, you just go along with what they tell you. You don't know detachment. You choose not to even go along that path. You don't care about nothing. The only thing you care about. The only thing you care about is your well-being. You may not know it because you tell yourself, I'm a good mother, I'm a good I'm a good husband, etc. But at the end of the day, you care about your own well-being. Because if you cared about others, you detach and let them go. You detach and let that go. You would detach and tell them, go and live, go and live your life. But you don't want that. You don't want that. You want to be right. You want to be happy. You want you, you, you want to be entertained. That's all you care about is love and hip-hop. 
Duck Dynasty. Those are the things you love. Those are the things you care about. Those are the things that you see in your life. But you're going to see. When this world comes crashing down and the sky comes falling, you're going to see exactly everything that I said was true. And everything that you believed was wrong. And not because I say so, but because that is the truth. Peace and stay blessed, everybody.